everybody, Jared with J Girls Equipment, Bobcat of Aberdeen. Uh, welcome back to another episode. Uh, first off, thank you so much uh, for everybody that's been watching our videos, uh, liking, subscribing. We really appreciate it. Uh, you know, we take extra time out of our day <clears throat> to do these for you. We enjoy doing it and uh, we hope you're enjoying them. So with that being said, thank you. Uh, hopefully um, you're sharing these, you're learning from these and, uh, and we really appreciate it. So today we're going to cover a topic that we get a lot of questions on. Um, a lot of times the salesman will have uh, myself or, or one of the technicians uh, describe this question to our customers. And what that is, is what's the difference between Bobcat five link torsion and Bobcat roller suspension. Um, Bobcat is at the forefront of both of these. Um, as far as roller suspension goes, another manufacturer just kind of came out with something similar. Um, you know, Bobcat's already been doing it for 10 plus years and um, it's popular, it's reliable. They're both reliable, they're both dependable. Um, and we're gonna, we'll dive into it. So the, the first one here is, is one of Bobcat's number one sellers and one of our number one sellers. It's a T770, um, which is the M series roller suspension. The roller suspension was available before the five link torsion. Um, we have them both here. We'll try not to bounce back and forth too much, but um, with the M series, there's, there's been a couple different generations of the roller suspension. This particular machine uh, has a few hundred hours on it, so you can see it's dirty, um, but that's okay. We're gonna, you know, show. Um, th the earlier generation kind of had um, a larger housing here. Uh, that would have been on the older T750s, older T770s, and th this was all enclosed, <clears throat> and there would have been a hole. So if you're familiar with those, uh, if you owned one, if you operated one, this may look different than that older generation. Um, so this would be the roller suspension undercarriage that if you purchased a brand new T770 today, uh, this would be the undercarriage. Um, and how this works is this undercarriage is solid mounted to the frame. Um, so when I say solid mounted, it's not welded. The M series, um, at some point when this machine is rolling down the assembly line at Bobcat, this machine uh, can, can, let's just say, take a turn to be an S model or a T model and become a skid steer or a track. So what this, what this T770 has is this track undercarriage um, bolted under it with numerous heavy duty bolts. Um, and this machine becomes a track machine. And so one of the things you'll see uh, when you look in this machine uh, on the M series uh, with roller suspension is there's gonna be a chain case tunnel in this machine. Um, so what that is is th this particular one isn't a chain case tunnel, but it's similar to support the hydraulic designs uh, in anything that's mounted to that. Um, you can't, yeah, take this machine and turn it into an S model, right? But it's, it's a similar design um, to streamline manufacturing. Probably another video for another day, but just wanted to, you know, kind of explain that because it's, it's part of the reason that the M series does not have torsion. So, Customers will say, well, why does one have torsion and why, you know, why does one have roller suspension? And it's because of that manufacturer design. Um, Bobcat's the leading manufacturer for, for efficiency and, and having so many things streamlined, which is awesome from a parts point of view because, you know, numerous models share numerous parts, which is awesome for customer support. So, with that being said, the M series has a solid mounted undercarriage similar to other brands out there uh, that do not have suspension, right? So Takahuchi, Kubota, just to name a few, have a solid mounted undercarriage and those machines uh, also have solid mounted wheels. So 
the the large front roller the the rear roller is solid mounted and and is solid to the machine you could say to where all eight sorry all four rollers with eight springs uh it, it allows that roller to move in there so how that works is on this generation this is what the spring looks like uh it's a it's an extremely heavy duty leaf spring uh so if you've seen leaf springs in vehicles um this is a similar concept the older generation of, of roller suspension had a different spring. It, it was a stacked spring, similar to what you'd see in a vehicle. Um, these, are, these are very durable. Um, I won't sugarcoat it. They do break. Um, you know, just like anything that moves, there's going to be issues with it. Um, but they're very reliable. And how that works is, uh, you know, we'll kind of give you a see-through view um you know this machine's dirty but you can see the mounting bolts right here and these three bolts are the bolts that are going through this spring so that spring sits in that track frame just like that and it's bolted in here it runs back and then it's bolted to this roller so those are offset in there so on and so forth sorry um so what that does is that allows that roller to move in that frame so as you're running over uh you know different grades different elevations you know that that wheel is moving in there i should mention you can purchase either one of these machines without suspension um so if, if that's a new, you know, if that's something new you've seen, if you're looking at one of these machines and you've seen them sitting on, on lots and you've seen, uh, you know, like a smooth undercarriage on an M-Series that doesn't have those steps, uh, that would be a non-roller suspension machine. You can purchase both today. They both have their place. Um, these are more popular where we're at. We're in South Dakota, uh, Northern United States. It, it gets cold here, the ground freezes, so it's, it's like driving on rock, you could say. So that's why where we're at, this is very popular because it not only gives you better traction uh, on frozen ground, but it also gives you better traction just as you're, as you're moving over those elevations so that machine can push better and ultimately it rides better. And the biggest difference, um, they're still track machines, so you still do, you know, climb over things and fall. Uh, it doesn't matter the brand. It doesn't matter um, what brand it might be with suspension. You're still going to feel those differences. Like if you're loading on a trailer, if you're, you know, jumping over something. Um, so ultimately what it does, uh, it increases traction. Um, it decreases cab rattle. It decreases the amount of maybe issues you're gonna have. Uh, you'll see it over time with solid mounted undercarriage machines, whether that's you know a skid steer or, or anything with tracks that has a solid mounted undercarriage. You know, windows are rattling loose, the door latches are rattling loose, you might have hardware rattling loose. So you know, all in all, this will help this machine over the course of its life and more importantly, the operator. The operator is more comfortable in there. If you spend, you know, four, six, eight, ten hours a day in these machines, this is a lot easier on an operator, especially on hard surfaces. So, um, kind of, we'll jump over to the R series. So, um, the R series is is a is a different animal, right? So, this machine also. The, the, T, the T models and the S models have a very similar frame on the R series. Um, and, and what you'll see is the major difference between the M that has the quote unquote chain case tunnel. The R series will not have that. So on an R series S model, you would have two chain cases, one on, on each side to where an M series will have one chain case down the center. So when you move to an R series, it automatically has a different view under here. 
And one of those things you'll see is your torsion axles passing through. So these axles are mounted to the frame of the machine and then they torsion the undercarriage. So that's the two biggest differences from the R series to the M series. Um, if you had to ask me personally, uh, from, from a technician or mechanical point of view, uh, the R series does ride a little nicer. Um, I definitely don't want to take anything away from the M series because the M series with roller suspension compared to a solid mounted undercarriage is, is literally night and day difference. So when you go to the R series, uh, the R series is known to be, let's say the premium machine, the premium frame, the premium model. And I would say you just get, um, you know, more, um, it'll, it'll roll over things nicer. It'll climb a little nicer. It's, it's balanced a little better. Uh, however, customers absolutely love both. We have customers that own both in their fleet. Um, and they, you know, they, they love them. They might love the M series for one thing and the R series for another. Uh, so if you have things that you prefer one or the other for, if you've owned both, you know, please comment and let us know what you think. Um, also, if there's anything in particular that maybe we're missing in this video that you want to know, comment and let us know, message us, uh, whatever the case may be. But moving on a little bit more in depth. So there's, there's a few more moving pieces here. Um, there's an axle here on the R series and an axle here. Um, so hopefully, you know, one day we'll have maybe one of these apart and we can do a little bit better, um, you know, video or, or show you exactly how this all works. But if you're not familiar with a torsion axle, um, here, here's where it goes into, uh, the solid mounted part. So this, this is your torsion axle and it comes through and that's what these two bolts go into. So this here has a square shaft that you can see that and then there's going to be four pieces of rubber on either side of that and that lets that shaft move inside of that rubber uh, very similar concept to what you'd see on a torsion axle that might be on a trailer uh, or anything else that utilizes it these are extremely heavy torsion axles they're very large um, there are <clears throat> you'll see torsion axles on other brands um, and they don't have the strength and the durability of this one. And they're, they're spaced out a little further usually and, um, you know, placed a little bit different. Uh, so we're, we're familiar with those. We've seen them, we've worked on them. Um, the, the R series, as far as torsion axles go, uh, I would say it's the strongest, most durable on the market. And, uh, I think if you go look at other brands that have torsion axles, you would agree. Uh, just, just due to it passes through the frame, um, you can see uh, on, I mean, on comparable mounting, um, you know, all of these bolts are holding that axle into place and there's additional bolts that you're not seeing. You can kind of see the rear mounting is back there. So um, that's kind of, uh, a, a 50,000 foot view of, of these two uh, to kind of help you understand that. Uh, they both grade really well uh, if you're in the dirt, dirt work industry. Um, I would say, uh, you know, they, they both climb well, they both load on trailers well. Uh, the R series with torsion, um, it's, it's able to be a little narrower the M series is a little wider, just those, those frame differences. Um, so, you know, for everybody's application, uh, for every, every operator, they kind of have a, a different feeling on it. Um, so let us know what you think. Let us know if you need to, you know, if there's any, like I said, specific questions you're wondering about these. Um, if you're in our area and you want to run them both, we have them both here available all the time, generally. Uh, and uh, typically when people run a machine with suspension versus without, they want that suspension. So um, 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully this uh, had some good information for you. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. We really appreciate it. And thanks again for joining us today. Have, have a great day. Thank you.